freak out. I'm, uh, um, you haven't walked onto the set of uh, Hangover 3. Or... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Um, uh, I, I am a, um, a wannabe um, Kiwi comic, um, fat <coughs> wannabe Kiwi comic, um, who's currently um, looking for love. Any, any takers? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> um, so. Um, I would say dating, but um, we don't really do that in New Zealand, do we? <laughs> what we do instead is we um, we we fuck all of our friends that <laughs> fuck us, <laughs> and until they get sick of us and defriend us on Facebook. <laughs> so um, I've fucked all of my friends that fuck me, <laughs> and by all I obviously mean one. <laughs> Um, and, um, and, and so that was the end of that, and, um, and so I decided to get with, with the program and, and, and do some internet dating, um, and, and I know you think that, like, I, I wouldn't be very successful at that, but I've had a really good time. Thank you, ladies. Really good time, and, and um, my ex-girlfriend has also been internet dating, and she's had a really shitty time, um, so fuck her. Um, but, but no, I, I wondered that um, that if uh, uh, I've had such a good time and she's had such a shitty time, if that just women are considerably better at, at this than, than men are, um, and and so I've talked to a few women. Uh, well, I've talked at them, anyway. Um, and I've come up with a theory that, that men are basically douchebags. And um, it's only women laughing now. Um, and, and I've got a couple of practical reasons why, why, or examples why women are considerably better than men. Um, firstly, um, I've never had a woman... Uh, oh, thanks for not heckling there. <laughs> I've never had a woman, or I've never heard of a woman who, when it gets to that point of an evening where um, the penis is presented... <laughs> That's how it works in my world, isn't it? <laughs> when it's presented, that... Um, <laughs> that said, um, well, no. I'm, I'm not going to put that in my mouth. Um, which I think's admirable. I mean, that's wonderful that they would suck penises, women. Um, because some really ugly penises out there, right? Um, you know, bulbous ones, and hairy ones, and pimply ones, scabby ones. And ones that like bend at odd angles. <laughs> I mean, what's going on in your mind, ladies, when that happens? You're like, <sighs> well, <laughs> I've come this far. <laughs> and not only do you suck them, but um, <laughs> you feel the need, ladies, to, to compliment them as, as that happens. Uh, Oh, that's a gorgeous penis. That's, <laughs> that's a wonderful penis. Yeah, again, in my world, obviously. Um, and, and that's just totally unnecessary, ladies. It really is totally unnecessary, ladies. I mean, you're doing the ultimate compliment to my penis. You're about to put your mouth on it. That's, that's totally enough. That's enough. I don't need to have my penis is ego stroked as, as well as you say. In fact, if, if any of ladies in the room feel that that might be something they want to do, uh, I, just when that happens, just say, that's an adequate penis. 
That's fine. That will do. That will make me very happy. Um, one other reason why men, uh, women, are better than men. Um, I, ca I come from a small town, and when you do things in a small town, um, you kind of get a reputation for it. So early on, obviously, I was known as the wanker. <laughs> Masturbation's great, isn't it? Um, and, and funnily enough, I had some friends come to me for uh, advice about it, and one of my friends came up and he said, you know, masturbation. I said, yeah, it's great, isn't it? And he said, well, no. I said, what do you mean, no? And he said, well, it just kind of hurts, kind of burns. And, and then he said, well, you know, since you know so much about masturbation, I'm 11, remember? 11 when this is happening. Um, since you know so much about masturbation, would you show me how it's done? And I was like, well, no, I can't do that. That's just a bit gay. But what I will do is I will watch while you... Gay? Not gay. Um, so we went back to his house, obviously, and, and we got prepared for me to watch him. And uh, he took his top off and said, I like to play with my nipples first. And I'm like, well, go right ahead. Um, like, I'm the guru, right, you know? Um, and I know right now you're looking at this face and thinking, well, you know, this is a, a, a man looking at an 11-year-old boy masturbating. That wasn't what was happening. <laughs> I, I'd get arrested for that. I was 11 too, um, and, and that's perfectly fine. Um, missed opportunities, I guess. Um, and so he took off his shirt and started playing with his nipples and then <laughs> looked at me deep in the eyes. <sighs> Took his pants down. <laughs> and I was, no, no, stop, stop. No wonder it burns. You're not masturbating, you're trying to start a fire. <laughs> and ladies, he gets laid. Thank you very, very much.